What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to more Trans-Siberian Railway Simulator. And following on from our previous video where we played the demo, the prologue version has now become available on Steam, so we're going to have a crack at this today. I skipped the original just sort of first part and we're about to get into this, so I really hope you enjoy the video today. Right then guys, we are back playing Trans-Siberian Railway Simulator and we have just arrived at the train, so we're going to climb up. And if you enjoyed my previous video, you will hopefully enjoy this one too. But just to say, we will be starting off from kind of setting up the train the same way that we did last time. Um, if you want to skip past this part, please do go ahead. If you haven't seen this already, I would recommend doing it. So we basically look at the mirror and then we're going to press T to view the parts of the train. And it looks like, similar to last time, the speedometer durability needs sorting out. So we're going to get one and we're going to... Um, we're going to replace that, so we're going to hit E to come out of that mode, of inspection mode. We're going to go to this door, open it. Um, so there's the new one. We are going to need the adjustable wrench, though, so we'll get that. And um, as you can see, I've already lined up our inventory with a flashlight. We've got a knife. Uh, we've got a gun. We're going to need those things. If you didn't watch the original video, I'd recommend going ahead and do that. If you like this, if you do enjoy this video, please do hit the like button. But for now, what we're going to do is start peeling away at these things. Now, imagining that this game is kind of, you know, you drive your train, you manage your train, but it's also the survival parts to it. So, um, part of that is what we can see in the top left-hand corner, which is our hunger, thirst, alcohol, hangover, illness, hypothermia. But also we have to look after our train as well. So we're going to press E to put this away in our inventory. We're going to press I to open our inventory. As you can see, I already purchased some food things, um, some milk. We got some more milk last time. Uh, this time, because last time we hardly had any, which wasn't good. Um, so we've got a 0% speedometer. We want to go and get that other one. Which I'll now grab. So we've just bought that one. We're going to put this one in place here. We're going to hit I. We're going to um, go to our 100% speedometer. I'll stick that where the flashlight was. And then we will pop that there. And we will then go back into our inventory, get our wrench. And we will use that to tighten up these like that. So once this is done... We should be able to set up our train to get going. And hopefully this one's going to take us past where we got to last time because that will be good then. Um, so once again, it's just telling us to keep an eye on our parts. We're going to turn on the small compressor. So just the same as last time, we're going to run down here. We'll leave the doors open, I think, until we actually get everything running. Um, hopefully you can hear that starting to kick into place. I'm going to turn on the radiator. Uh, it's radio. So as you're saying there, we've got um, some railroad cars over here with coal in them ready for our collection. And again, you can just listen to that again if you want. It's platform three. Um, track 8 over there. Alright, so we're going to start firing things up. We're going to turn on the Pantograph power supply. As you can see, it's red at the moment over here, which means that the electricity is supplied from the battery. We'll hit F. Um, we're going to turn and lift both Pantographs. Um, if we, well, we could actually do this now, I'll show you. You can enter inspection mode to see an external view of your train, which is useful for even driving because, um, yeah, it means that you can see from the outside, obviously, when you're reversing up to trucks and, and things like that. Right, we're going to put on the heating. Uh, see if I can remember where this is. So it's over here. Um, so we want a temperature to not fall below 5 degrees Celsius. Um, that's when hypothermia can kick in, which we've already got a part of. Keep the doors and windows closed. 
So if we close this door, for example, the temperature will start to really pick up. Uh, we'll turn on the compressors. Uh, the main reservoir is starting to fill up over here. Got a nice little indicator there telling you the actual um, the actual reading as well, which is good. I mean, you can you can zoom in. You can also use the flashlight if you press the button by accident. Um, but you can zoom in with the right mouse button. So we're on Train Sim World, you would use the um, mouse wheel, which I'm doing there to sort of go through my inventory. You can do it on here with the right mouse button. So that's that done. Turn on the KVC switch. Not too sure what that does. The red light on the first row and second column means that the KVC is on, but not yet working. We're going to reset it with that. And we're going to do BV1. Not too sure what that is either. But that's now clicked on as well. And again, we need to get that reset. Like so. All right, so that's done. Um, the red light in the second run and first column has gone out. It means the engines are ready to be turned on. When you lower the pantographs, raise them up again. Remember to reset the engines. To turn on the engine, um, I'm going to hit this. Set the brake blocking handle to brake. It's released position. Um, where's that? Down there. There we go. Um, so starting to I think they should be starting to fill up. All right, we need to release this first. There we go. So we've re released that a bit too much because we've released far too much. Um, I think I think that's what it's going to tell us next. We'll wait and see. I can't really remember to be honest with you. To be honest with you, I. I I had a blast playing the demo of this game last time and I'm really hoping that this is going to be fantastic because, the full game I mean, because um, it does look good. So we've set that to the service position. That should be fine. F to continue. Set the handle to shut off. There we go. So they, those, um, the pressure is dropping. All right, actually... They're probably around about in the right place now. It says around about 4.5. It's not quite 4. Point, it's like 4.2 or something, but that's fine. Um, the bricks are prepared anyway. Um, we can actually, in time, start to adjust this more to set it more precisely. I don't think it'll let us do, do it now. Turn on the VU switch to activate the locomotive control system, which is up there. That's on. The next step is to turn on the signalization system. Uh, so we need to go to the engine room along the way, I think. Yeah, we'll leave the door open for a sec. It's not ideal, but we're below temperature here and running is certainly keeping us warm. Um, just notice when we're running there, we're actually zero um, degrees Celsius. Now, where is this switch that it's telling us about? Go oh, go to the engine room, sorry. I've just ran straight past where I was. Right, okay. Uh, not backwards, dude. We want to be forward. Uh, okay. I thought we were through there for something. Signalization is on. Turn on the attention control system with the EPK switch. Um, where's that one? Down there. Uh, we will switch that alarm off. Uh, green. All right. So this is where we have our signalization here. So green light. Um, movement is allowed up to 60 kilometers. We've got a yellow light, which means it's allowed up to 40. Yellow and red. Uh, stop before the next railroad signal. And then red. Stop immediately. So a little bit different to what we used to on Train Sim World. On with a red light, we can obviously stop before the signal. Sounds like this is a bit different um, in terms of the red light means stop instantly. The white light means that the nearest railroad signal has not been detected. You have to proceed with caution. Um, so go to the cabin in the second section of the locomotive. We're doing that now. 
this is what I thought it was going to have us do last time. Uh, what are we doing? We need to do something here. Um, release this. I guess that's like a parking brake. It says a blocking handle. Right, we'll start closing doors now, I think, because I think we're almost done with running up and down. Thought I didn't want to close at first, this one. Right, we'll leg it up here. We'll close that one. Uh, it's still nice and toasty in here. Well, relatively 15 degrees. Um, set the blocking handle here, so we're going to release this brick as well. And we're going to set this to M. So we're ready to drive, I think. Um, we're going to set this main handle to position one. And we are moving. As you can see. So we did all this last time. We got a little, well, little far down the track and then we obviously, the demo came to an end. And yeah, hopefully this time uh, we can get a little bit more done. Get a little bit more power on there. Um, we do have a few signals, so we've got a 40 limit, 40k limit at the moment. And we do have a speedometer here, which you can also look at um, by zooming in. We'll just look at that. But it also tells you as well on it, like the, 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 the readout there that you can see increasing, which is quite useful. But we can get a little bit more power on, I think. Uh, we do, yeah, we've got a 40k limit, so we should be all right for now. Any sort of speed increases, power increases, you have to be a little gentle with, to be honest with you, which is good. It's accurate, you know. Um, the next step is to couple to the marked railroad cars. So it's just telling us where we're going to drive forward. Don't drive too fast. You will have to brake soon. Yeah, we're not going to be flying along. We'll ease down a bit, I think. I think we're doing all right so far. Nice uh, electrical map here. I wonder how accurate that is. And I'm not too sure where the actual fuse box is, whether we've skipped past that. But yeah, um, I am enjoying this game so far. There is a way of sitting down, and I can't remember what it is now. It tells you a little further along. Let's see if we can r roll along a little bit here now. Uh, we're slowing. We're slowing a little too much. We've got a little way to go yet. We want to be beyond that switch before we can stop. Um, brake handle's unavailable. Um, but our main brake is available. This one here. Right, let's release that now. I don't think it let us break as such just yet. I mean, strangely, it just seems to break on its own. Now, I don't know whether that's because we've got a little bit of service on there. Not too sure, to be honest with you. I wish that inventory would go away. If we press Q, that'll do that. But still, if we roll the mouse wheel again, that'll um, cause that to happen. You can open the window as well and close it if you do. So if you want to let in all the coal there. Not so much. Uh, are we stopping? This doesn't let us do anything, neither does that one. Just checking these again. I think we are just about stopping, although it's taking forever. We should be alright, because we don't have any signals up ahead, but still, you'd think that this would let you put some brakes on or something. It's taken forever for us to stop. Oh, it's actually... Alright, I think that's what it wanted us to do. Didn't say that at first. I don't know whether that only just became available. I'm not too sure. We are going to change the switch now by running along here. I'll try not to do what I did the very first time that I um, played this game and smash into the uh, the, the, the actual trucks. Alright, let's climb up.
Right, okay. So we're going to switch this into... It says, actually, set the handle to locomotive brake handle and brake release position. So I think we've gone... Have we done something wrong there? No, no, maybe that was right. I didn't actually read the instruction. Uh, all right, yeah. Clip this in the... Oh, position one, it wants us to. Right, here we go. We can look through here now. And see how we're getting on. And while we're reversing, I'm going to take a little sip of juice. We are nicely reversing. I'm not too sure why it's in locomotive. That's a... Uh, A little strange considering we are in our locomotive, but yeah. Reversing at a fairly decent speed, I would say. Um, yeah, let's take a quick look at how fast we're going. So yeah, about seven kilometers. Um, Should be getting pretty close. I'm always disturbed by waypoints like that, uh, saying locomotive over there, you know. Like, is it going to expect us, is it is it booked? Is it going to expect us to go over there at some point? Right, okay, let's um, notch this down another one. In fact, let's just notch that off. And there we go. We are coupled. I wish I'd uh, had a closer look at that. We are pushing back now. Let's exit. I don't know why it's still pushing back. I wish it would allow us to put a little brakes on. All right, so basically, um, I wouldn't mind putting the little brakes on. There we go. It's a little frightening at times when it comes to the um, things like that with this game during the tutorial thing because it won't let you do anything otherwise. So the braking with the service braking position set on the higher positions is harder, but the pressure drops faster and, and you will have to refill it more often. All right. Um, emergency in the emergency brake position is most effective, but the pressure drops very quickly. And again, emergency braking, high position is the hardest, but the pressure drops fastest. The train is stopped. Deliver the railroad cars to the station. I'm not going to try and pronounce that. Prepare the brakes again. Set the main handle to service like that. We're going to put this into M mode, which is kind of it's forward basically, and we are ready to drive. We're going to set this into position one. Um, again, it's telling us if you apply too much power, the white light on the right panel will appear. The locomotive will not be able to speed up. Now we are moving very slowly. Obey the Royal Road signals and signals to prevent the locomotive from getting damaged. You can see the operating manual as well in the menu. Um, we can press X to sit down, so finally that's told. Those how we do that. We can press escape and you can see the locomotive operating manual is here. It's kind of telling us exactly what we've just learned, but if we wanted to read it again, I'm going to save as well. Uh, I'll create a new save and we'll accept that and we'll save that because I did prepare a save up to where we played last time but I want to save again just in case we do have any mishaps um, our bricks should be releasing to show what that attention thing is but we will start to get a little bit more power on just to get a bit 
underway now. We've got a 40 limit, so let's get a bit more power on, I think. Hard to tell if our wheels are spinning. I think we've got everything released, so... We haven't used this brake handle yet, which is um, strange. Now, I think this would be the brake, the train brake handle. Oh no, there's the locomotive brake handle. This maybe is the main brake handle. Maybe this is dynamic brake, but it's, it says it's unavailable at the moment. So I guess we'll see, won't we, what that does in time. Let's get a little bit more power on, see if it'll allow us to speed up a little bit more. I guess this is a fairly heavy load, although not as heavy as some, I guess, um, as I knock my microphone. I'm not too sure how heavy this is. Um, but one thing that I will say is we've got a time limit to meet, which is 56 minutes, which I'm sure hopefully is fairly... Um, is going to be fairly okay. I'm too sure how many notches we've got on this. About 12 Ks at the moment. What we will do is um, just take a drink. Uh, I think we need to put this into our inventory. As you can see in the top left, we're a little bit thirsty. And there we go. That's chopped up of, off a bunch of our thirst. We'll close our inventory by pressing Q. Uh, how fast are we going? We've lost some speed. Maybe handle 12. I wouldn't mind going a little faster, to be honest with you. I mean... Um, 'field generator turned off. one of those times when just kind of hoping that we can speed up a little bit more 15 k's now approaching 16 k's now okay let's see if we can push it a little more yeah still increasing now so the notched approach is working Okay, we're going over these switches now. Still increasing, 22 Ks now, that's good. All right, so we look like we're on our way. Um, now, if it follows the same uh, route as the demo, it's gonna give us some instructions about uh, lowering the pantograph in a minute, and then uh, probably gonna get us to raise it again. But we're making decent progress. Wow, that's a really nice little uh, animation there. I do like seeing trains switching like that, and the animation's great. All right, let's come out, uh, see if it's given us an instruction yet. Not quite yet. Let's see if we can notch up a bit more. What's this? Driving position optimal. Car seemingly floating over there. But yeah, nice little um level crossing. You see the, you can see the length of our train now, if see if we can raise the camera into the sky. It's a nice sky effect actually. Oh that's as high as we can go. Alright, we'll exit out of there and see if um see what we're gonna be doing next. Um Oh, there we go. When you lower the pantographs and raise them up again, remember to reset the engine. So I think it's just getting us to learn how to do that. I don't know when we would lower the pantographs. Um, I don't know when that would be. Maybe when we're parked up. 
somewhere um, and we need to reset everything. Oh, we were optimal and we lost it by putting on too much. All right, I mean, we're not too far off the speed limit. Oh, no. The speed limit's gone up to 60 k's now. So I think we can crack on. All right, in the top middle of the screen, there is information about upcoming railroad signals. So I guess it's telling us prepare to lower the pantograph so there must be a sign coming up that's going to tell us to do that. I think I missed that in the demo. I couldn't quite get what it was. Ah. Is that it? Ah, yes. Lower the pantographs. All right. I wonder what that is for. Whether it's like, you know, like an en energy um, conserving thing. I mean, the one thing I will say is we're obviously losing speed now, but thankfully we got up to a pretty decent speed. Um, and again, we have lowered the pantograph, so if we were to look uh, from the outside, you can see that those uh, connections to the overhead line are now down. Oh, it's now asking us to raise the pentagraph, so we'll be back in here. We'll hit these, and we're going to have to reset reset I think all right so we need to reset this one reset that one and we should be good now right then guys so if you are back with me we are now playing this game on the following night from when the previous video was recorded because we did have a game crash which is unfortunate because I was really enjoying this game up to that point and hopefully we won't experience another one here now that we're back. But we've re-engaged the pantographs, we've also released these two and reset them, so that should be now all good. Um, we are going to ease off on the main handle because we are going to get a radio signal in a moment and we will be stopping soon. Uh, as long as the game doesn't crash again because it did crash when I was getting this radio signal, so hopefully we won't have that happen again. We're going to ease off on the power. So it's here t talking about our first assignment. Um, we must show them that we're going to go as far as we're needed. Now he's talking about the rival groups here, the rival gangs. And also it says the nearest railway bridge is key to the logistics of the rival gang. I won't try and pronounce that. They are smuggling guns, drugs and money. It all goes through this point. If we knock it down, it will deal them a hell of a blow and we will paralyze their actions and disable them from holding sway. So it sounds like we're going to be destroying their bridge. We're going to put some brakes on. Because we do have a yellow and red light over here, which means that we're going to be stopping at the next railroad signal. Um, we can put some emergency brakes on. It's a little bit different to the sort of typical train sim world style emergency brakes um, because they're just a bit stronger um, these service brakes seem really poor and although we are losing speed um, yeah I just don't want to leave it too late because this is literally telling us to stop at the next signal so we need to get this power down now you can have collisions on this game as well um, I was testing a couple of things out just to see what would happen and i can confirm that you can collide with other trains and it is game over although it's a bit of a you get a bit of an animation at least unlike trends in world well, i guess you do get a bit okay you get an animation in trends in world but it's just not as uh like this one it's like you get an explosion and stuff it's quite um amusing i guess but it is game over unfortunately when you do do that so we'll just try and get slowed down before the next signal can't quite see it just yet but we are you know we've got a decent amount of um, cargo on the back here as you can see stretching off into the distance there so it's pretty heavy and it's going to mean that we're going to need to slow down and give a decent amount of braking distance uh, just release those brakes a little bit
11.1 kilometers per hour. Still losing speed, so we're, yeah, we are slowing down quite a way before the signal. But hopefully you'll see what I mean, um, because there is another train coming across that bridge as well um, in the distance. That's why it's telling us to slow down, basically. Because what happens next is you end up on a red signal, and that means that you've got to stop immediately. But the only problem with that is if there's a train on the track ahead of you, then you end up having a head-on collision. Uh, And we are slowing down nicely, although we do have a bit of a distance to go still. Just make sure we're moving a bit. Don't want to be speeding up a great deal. But we are still losing speed, and we're not quite at the signal yet. So, yeah, we're taking it cautiously, really. Um which isn't the worst thing in the world on this game especially given the, the, the very s sort of long braking distance which is needed unless you want to use emergency brakes I wonder what the sort of wear and tear and stuff like that is um, when it comes to the uh, emer use of emergency brakes let's release that again a little distance to go we're going to see that that train needs to get out of our way anyway really before we start to do anything else. Keep the ampage going. Don't know whether you can see there, but just between the bridge uh, entrance, you can see the train approaching now. I'm not too sure whether it's going to get us to cross with the train or whether it's going to get us to um, get out on foot. I would imagine that it's going to get us to drive across because obviously we want to get to our destination and we're not going to be able to do that with a bl bl blown up bridge, are we? But by the sounds of things, if we blow the bridge behind us, then we're not going to be coming back this way uh, anytime soon. But I guess we'll find out soon enough, right? Yeah, I think I, I think I slowed down a little too early, but um, also understandably so, though, because yeah, the brakes didn't seem to be uh, too uh, what's what you call um, didn't seem to be too strong slow, should I say? It's slowing us down, but yeah. So we've got a whistle and a horn over here as well. Not too sure whether I showed you that on, on this particular recording or whether it was on a previous, um, the previous one. So when the game crashed, um, it just kicked me right out the game to a black black screen. So I do have a recording with that happening, and I wasn't uh, too sure what to do at that point, whether to just leave it and just sort of end the episode there, or whether to come back. But we are going to be making a stop. right about here and you can see I mean it it's not exactly slowing down quickly is it even at these slow speeds um, but there we go I think we're stopped And now I'm not too sure what we're supposed to do. Um, I guess if I can get up here. And jump down. Um, is that train coming or not? Because that train wants to be well and truly out of our way, that's for sure.
Here it is anyway. Let's uh, eat something because we are hungry. We'll do, either, we'll do the banana, I think. There we go. That's brought our uh, hunger down a little bit. And this train's coming through now. Fairly short at least. That's a good thing. Alright, let's uh, get back to our train. This is quite good. Has, any, has anybody played um, Train Life? I've heard that's quite good as well in terms of you can buy your own train and sort of it's a little bit like Euro Truck Simulator but on trains where you've got to do services and stuff like that. Right. Let's see what we're doing then. So we've got a green signal so we can release the brakes. Release and charge. Let's kick it back to service. All right, so we've got a bit more power in the line. Uh, M is correct, I think. Hopefully we'll be moving. And here we go. Very quiet, isn't it? Nice animation there on the wheels. I guess the key thing is having so much weight. Um, when, we, when we're pulling like this, um, Keeping an eye on that white light there, which tells us that we're putting too much power on. White light, proceed with caution. The nearest railways, rail, rail, uh, railroad signal is not detected. All right. Did it give us another instruction? Not in time. Oh, there we go. All right. So Nikita is waiting for us on the other side. We're going to take a package and the explosives from him. Quite a beautiful game, really. I mean, so far, so good. And uh, like I said in my previous video, this developer... Um, this is like one of their first games between this and I think there's a fishing game that they're working on as well. I don't know what the experience of the team is in terms of the actual individuals in the team, but so far so good. So I wonder where this Nikita character is going to be as we cross over here. All right, well, he's only 700 meters or so away, so we'll ease off on the power. Still don't have this brake handle. What's going on? Why doesn't that work? Holding speed. So, I would say with the way this train slows down, we could do with a little bit of brake on now. There we go. Cross, crossing over this rather beautiful bridge, this landscape looks lovely. I 
I don't know whether there's like train upgrades you can get or whatever. I have no idea. Um, in terms of kind of what else is included in this game, but we gonna need some more bricks I think because we've barely lost any speed at all a single carriage sort of single uh, line as well we are losing more speed now so that's good Give him a little toot. Let's get rid of that inventory across the bottom. So he's pretty close. I'm trying to see if I can see him there. Can't quite make out what that is, to be honest with you. Are we going uphill again here? Looks like it, doesn't it? Still can't quite really make out where he is there. Signal's still green. Is he? He must be next to that fence. Ah, oh, there he is. Are we supposed to pull into this lay-by, or what are we doing here? I'm not too sure what we're supposed to be doing, to be honest with you. Um, I've come to a stop, and I'm not too sure whether we're still on the bridge or not. So he's a pyrotechnic and the creative magic in the air, the blast of colour and patterns from our brushes, paint and brush build with pictures in the sky. I'm getting out of here, I must always act with professionalism and attention to safety. So we've got a package. Um, right, so he's going. Plant an explosive on the bridge. Just be careful not to blow up your train in the process. You have 15 minutes to do this. Wowzers. All right, what we're going to do now, guys, we're going to save. We'll save over our last game. Right. We've done that. Now, what we're going to do is resume. And then if there's any issues here, we're going to um, deal with that. I'm not too sure. You know, I wish I knew what was going on here. Like in terms of what which lane we should be in, etc. Now, three hundred and fifty odd meters back is where the bridge is. I'm trying to keep running in order to get there as quickly as possible, but. I just hope that we've cleared the bridge with the train because I have no idea if we have or not. I'm not too sure how many even carriages we had. And I do have to say as well, the other issue here is the fact that um, we don't want to damage it at all, even if we're not on the bridge. Are we close? Are we too close to it? Well... I don't know, that looks pretty close to me, um, but let's try, let's give it a go. Excitement, um, not too sure what's gonna happen here. 
Right, so we've got uh, an explosive planting point. How do we open this? Um, how do we open the box? Is it? Uh, okay, that's not happening, and I don't want to damage it to the point where it doesn't work. Right, so clicking doesn't work. He puts it in the inventory and then holding it. Mm. Yeah, he doesn't do anything. Obviously, Q closes inventory. I. If we put the package in the inventory, then what? Doesn't tell us anything else to do. Oh, explosive charge. All right, okay. Explosive charge. All right, so that was obviously not what we were looking for, was it, with the package? But we do have an explosive charge here. And we will plant that. 30 seconds? Are you joking? I better pull my gun out as well, just in case. In case there's any drama. I'm hoping the train's going to be clear enough and that I'm going to be clear enough here as well. No idea what's going to happen here. No idea what's going to happen here. Whoa! He wasn't wrong about pyrotechnics, was he? $500 for that and, uh, well... Oh, the bridge didn't go down, but there's a... I guess that was the desired effect, wasn't it, right? Okay, so the package is blueprints for making bombs. Give it to Boris. He is Nikita's trainee. He is waiting for you in the station building. You have one hour and 15 minutes to do this. All right, awesome. Well, let's get back to the train. Um, what I will say is, guys, we are going to end this episode here because it has been... Uh, I'm sure by now a decent amount of time when I think of the two parts of the videos put together. And I hope that you've enjoyed this one. Um, and if you have, please do hit the like button. I'd love it if you subscribe to the channel, if I could actually say it. <laughs> that would be great because obviously we are trying to beat the YouTube algorithm. And I love adding new subscribers. It just really makes my day. We are getting pretty close to 2,000 as well. So love to push through that and... Um, crack on with it from here on out but for now guys i want to say thank th thank you so much for joining me for this video and i'll catch you guys again soon